I'm just d d dabbing. Oh, hey YouTube, it's your boy Dom Lay. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a part of this family yet. And also hit that notification bell up there so you can get my videos as soon as I post them. Also guys, today I'm going to be doing a, a Valentine's Day look with this beautiful mug right here. This pink eye shadow is literally from the 39A palette. Oh, beautiful. If you want to see how I got this look, guys, you stay tuned. And also, I have a new slogan that I'm coming up with. I'm perfect, you adjust. That is my new saying. Guys, it means a lot to me because I feel I am beautiful. You should feel beautiful and you shouldn't have to change the way you are for anyone else. So love yourself and I love you guys. I just brought you in a little bit closer just to see how this foundation applies. I think we might need a little bit more pumps. I don't, mm, it's very luminous. Like that is gorgeous. Like that is very radiant. Like that is. That is what it says it is. That is actually good coverage. Like, hmm. my skin looks very healthy. I don't know if it is the primer or is it because these two are actually working together. My skin looks very luminous. Like the radiant from the foundation formula, you can really tell it's very shiny. Like, not like sweat shiny, just like natural glow shiny, you know what I mean? Oh, I really like this foundation. Hmm. NARS, you're winning in my book. Then we're going to jump into the NARS concealer right here. Again, the packaging is very gorgeous. This is, a, I think, $30. This is the beautiful packaging. This is the color custard. I'm sorry for repeating myself. And this is, oh, do you see that? I like that you have to... Oh, but anywho, this is the color of the concealer. Now we're going to jump in and we're going to add a little bit from the inner eye right here and then just bring it out. And we don't, ooh. oh. <laughs> mm. And I'm going to take my Artiz brush right here and I'm going to try this side with the Artiz and then this side with the Beauty Blender. So let's get it. Mm-mm, I don't like that at all. Like, that makes it look very streaky. Nope. Now I'm gonna jump into my Born This Way setting powder. Everyone knows this is my favorite setting powder. I have not left this. This is affordable. This is beautiful packaging. Like, I love Too Faced. I'm gonna take a little bit of that, and I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender, and then I'm going to press the powder along my under eye just to prevent from any creasing later on in the day. Do you see that? I'm just pressing. Whew. Now that we got that press in, I'm going to jump into the Mulani. Okay, and I learned this from Alyssa Ashley. The way that she uses her, either I think it's Sephora or MAC Studio Finishing Powder. I'm going to do the same thing and just tap a little bit off. And then we're just going to blend it around the mouth area. It's going to blend everything in. And she usually do it before her, con I mean, after her contour. I just like to make sure I set the foundation just with a little bit of powder before I go any further. All right, so I'm going to use the Kat Von D contour palette. So then I'm going to jump into this lighter and middle shade. I'm gonna 
looks very good. Okay. Bitch snatched. Now I'm going to go back into my translucent powder. I'm just going to uh, put this under my eye so I can jump into my Valentine's Day eyeshadow. I'm going to jump into the Morphe's Dare to Be Create palette and it's the 39A and guys this palette was limited edition so hopefully guys you can still go to Morphe website and snag this out. Let me conceal my eyes. I'm going to use the Sharp Tape and the color Light Neutral. I'm gonna get my beauty blender. Ooh, I look very, very white, very Caucasian today. Gorgeous. This shade right here called Bare. Start far out of the crease because you want to work out then in of the eye and then slowly work our way this way because I feel like we're going to do a halo today. And as you see guys, I'm not going a little, I'm going light when I go in the middle because I want the middle to stay the color of the lid. So when I go back over with a little concealer, even though we're going over concealer, I just have to keep the habit of knowing where I want my halo to start, what it be at. Then we're going to jump into the shade, this orange shade right here, a little above the crease. And yes, I'm going to use the same brush just to go back in right there, just to darken it up a little bit. Next, we're going to jump into this beautiful pink shade right here. It is like a magenta looking on the camera, but it's a really pink shade and it's called Create, I mean, Create, and then we're gonna go into Passion, but I'm gonna go and Create first. I'm gonna pack it in the brush, just pack it in there. And then now we're going to start from here and we're gonna go up. So we're gonna work our way. You see, I'm just, I'm just d d dabbing, dabbing the color right there. I'm just gonna dab it up on there into the crease. Now we're gonna actually put it inside the crease right there. Do the same thing on this side, and we're just gonna darken the inner corner. That was a very cute pink. Then we're going to jump in to darken the inner a little bit more. We're going to jump into this passion purplish color and we're just going to dab that on the outer edges of the eye just so that we can start to smoke it out a little bit of the halo. Okay, then we're going to get the inner, just like right here, darken it up a little bit. All right, now that we got the halo started, next we're going to jump back into a little bit of the concealer. I'm going to uh, tap that where I want it to go. Then we're gonna go back over it and just blend out where you put too much concealer. 
don't want that much concealer like sticking out. Then we're going to jump into uh, the. Oh, I really want to jump into the Fenty Beauty Galaxy, but I think we're going to blend in between this color right here and this color. We'll see how that plays out. Need a spark. And we're just going to apply that to the lid. And as you guys see, I'm doing patting motions. Like, I'm just patting it. Patting it in. Because I feel as if you pat instead of drag, the product stays on and actually attached to where you want it to go. You have more control. Okay, we need another color. Then I'm going to try to use this artistic color right here just to blend in also. And then if this doesn't work, because I want it to like stick out, so we might have to add another a lighter color. Oh hi. That's not bad right there at all. Oh, look at that. Fuck me. But I'm gonna jump in with my Morphe um, Frost palette into the fork, into the brush, something like that palette. And I'm gonna jump into this lighter shade right here just so I can make it stick out a little bit more. I want it to like blind, like you'll see. And then I'm going to take back the brush that has a little bit of that pink. And I'm just going to even up the lines where the halo is. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to do the other eye off camera. And then we're going to finish up. Now that I got my lashes on, I'm gonna jump back into the Morphe 39A palette and I'm going to smoke my under eye. All right, now I'm going to take this color right here, um, Define Me, which is a little darker transfer color that I used than before. That eye. You see what it does? It smokes the bottom out, which you do not want to go like a big U, like horse shape. You just want to do it nice and soft. And I also put the jumbo milk pencil right there. Blinding, bitch. Now I'm going to jump into my famous lip palette from ABH Cosmetics, which is on such a lovely feels. And I'm going to make a lip. And I think. There's just so much going on top. I'm not for sure what to do at the bottom. Like, I'm just, <laughs> the bottom. I'm so excited, I got on my own. Like, this is a very cute, glam, Valentine's Day look, and I just wanna do a red look, red lip, but I don't know, I think that might be a little too much. Let's see. Bad and bougie. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump first in with this darker pink right here. And I'm just gonna outline my lips and then I'm gonna fill it in with this nude, which I think will be very cute.
All right, now that we got that beautiful pink shade, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. And we're just gonna lightly put that in my inner lip. Ooh, look at these lips, like, oh my God. Yes, happy Valentine's to you. Look at this lip. Oh, I'm gonna get all up in that look. Right before we finish this look, we're gonna jump into the new Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Like, oh, we're twins, we're matching, and no, I'm not sponsored. But Benefit, I love your products. We're done. 